what I did, all I do is win, the, no matter what. That means even no matter how big my situation can be or how scary it can be, I'll always win that. It can never defeat me. But you don't realize the, the impact that this makes on a woman's life. When she comes in, she has nothing. She feels completely um, isolated and she doesn't know where to go. And just walking in here and feeling welcome and uplifted really makes a big, big difference. So we are very blessed to have this. As well as being an emergency shelter, the centre also offers legal counselling, childcare services and a job skills programme in order for the women to be financially independent when they leave. We are open 24-7, 365 days a year, so always available to the community. The centre can accommodate up to 70 women and children. Unfortunately, they cannot reach their full capacity as they are short-staffed and are desperately in need of funding. If you look at the, the amount of women coming through our doors, it is impossible to cater for everybody's needs. Uh, we show away between 10 and 20 people a day. But this woman was fortunate to be admitted to the program. I woke up in the ambulance. I, I, I was injured. I needed help. I didn't know what to do, what to start. They found it beneficial to be able to express themselves through art making and share with the group. Um, that it boosted self-esteem and confidence and also the one woman wrote that she really liked having the opportunity to give her opinion and, and be helpful. Although she has been through so much, her spirit is not broken. From January to now, I have done lots of things. I can't believe it, even myself. And I, I'm, I'm wake, I can sleep in the night. I wake up happy every day. Nobody is going to change who I am. And even if he tried to kill me or whatever, he will never take my inner beauty because I'm not going to hell with him. Um, without further ado, I would like to thanks also to the staff at the centre, especially Hermine and Mr. Lockman for all the support offered and for allowing me to come in here and move things around. Kids and that boy will then have their own room so that the older teenage boys does not have to uh, transport yourself because it's impossible for us to, to do I mean, we've got 21 kids at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.